I have already. This is test six, section four. Okay, we're gonna start from number one. So, what is the value of y when x equals three? So, x is given by three. So, put this number in there. Okay, so three plus three is six y. X is three. That is nine minus three and plus twelve. So this is 21 minus 8 is 18, and divide by 6, y equals 3, okay? Choice A is the answer. Number 2, total cost of 10 equal price notebook. So each one has the same price. So k dot total, when you divide by 10, that is the price for the one book, okay? But the price is the book is reduced by one dollar minus one. That's new price. But you're gonna find two of this notebook cost how much? So two k over ten is what k over five, and minus two. That is the uh, the price for the two notebook. Okay. So choice C is the answer. Here is number three. Cost C. For the maintenance on heating system increases its year by 2.8 percent. Mark paid what 250 dollar this year. That is the initial value. Cost of T years from now on can be modeled this way. This is the exponential functions. CT. What is this? P. CT goes Initially to 250, inside the friends is already 1 plus R times T, right? That's the rate. That is equal 1 plus 0 0.028. That's right. Yeah. This is the rate. This is a plus means a gross rate. Usually we said gross rate. When you plus gross rate minus decay rate. So with number one all together from here to 1.028, that is now factor, right? Gross factor because this number is greater than one, you said gross factor, okay? If this is less than one, it's going to be decay factor, okay? So what is that? 1.028t, okay? You need the p, so 1.028 is the value of p. What is the approximate cost per years? So I see to the poor, take it out, 250 times 1.028 and times 4. So we have to use a calculator. Okay. Now let's the calculator over here. 250 times 0 0.028 to the what? Horsepower. 279, okay? Choice B is the answer. All right, number five here. So x over 4 minus y over 4 is 1, which of the following could be graph of the function. This is a kind of intercept form, okay? Change this one. x over 4 plus y over negative 4 that is equals to 1, right? This is x-intercept 4, y-intercept is negative 4. Which one is the x-intercept is 4 and y-intercept is negative 4? This is 4, this is negative 4, right? Yeah, that's the answer. Or you can switch, right? Uh, you can express y in terms of x. Times 4 here. x minus y equals 4. And y equals how much? x minus 4, right? You can do this one too. Slope is 1. Y intercept is negative 4, okay? Choice C is the answer anyway. <clears throat> the number 6, which of the following values of A and B does the equation of no solutions? No solution. Take this is a Y1, this is a Y2. It's going to have the right, same slope, right? So A should be 0.8, right? But B cannot be equals to 5, different y-intercept. Okay, so choice C is what? This is a coincidence, right? Exactly the same line. So we're going to choose over here. 
be a different number, 0.8, that is fine, okay? Then the same slope and different y-intercept. Then not going to have any intersection. Right, this is number seven. Why could square root x? What is the measure of in radian of the angle PQR, this angle? This is a slope as well when you make the line of it. Red three, square root three over one, that's the slope, right? This is square root three, this is one, okay? You can use these numbers. This is the right angles, so this is gonna be two, right? Two, one, red three, okay? That's a special right triangle. Two, one is that, it's a 60 degree, which is equal to what? Pi over three, okay? That's the angle of P O R, okay? Three over pi is the answer. Pi over three is the answer. Okay. So which of the power is equal to this one? I square equals negative one. One minus minus two over I, but we're gonna realize times I times I of there. This is why denominator is negative one. It's going to be negative 2i, okay? This is a simplest form. Choice C is the answer. What's the remainder of it when divide by x minus 1? There is the remainder here, okay? Put this number x is 1 in the equations. 1 square minus 3 times 1 and the plus 5. This is 1 minus 3 plus 5, okay? Which equals 3. That's the remainder, right? That's the remainder zero. The number 10, this is KK, same K. Okay, index number is the same. There is 128. That is 2, right? So this is 128 to the what? 1 over K, isn't it? That is 2. What is the 128? 2 to the 7th power. That's right, yeah. 7 over k equals 1. I'll write it one more time. 7 over k equals 1. k equals how much? 7, right? Oh, it's the, the answer. Uh, number 11. <clears throat> Perpendicular. Slope of this one, okay, I'm going to this one. y equals ax minus 1. This is the slope of the line. The other one is y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 3 over 2. This is the other slope. To be perpendicular, it's going to be negatively reciprocal, right? What is the negative reciprocal of this one? Positive 2, okay? That is equal to A. Number 12. Claire works one week and make $8, and this year worked five more hours. Anyway, this is one week, okay? $8. Five more hours, if this is a five or more hours, you would have a right, B dollars. Okay? From here to here, B. So what is this side? B minus A, right? But this is for five hours. Hour rate, you can divide five, okay? That is hour rate, okay? So B minus A over five is the answer. All right, here we go, number 13. A community group responded to a survey that asked which holiday is their favorite and in complete survey data is shown in the table. Using the numbers, it's already filled out. Okay, so we're going to find out how many females responded to survey Memorial Day is a favorite holiday, female memorial. Where are these numbers? We're going to find these numbers. This is 125, this is a 75, 40 and 35. 125 minus 75 equals what, 50. This is a 50. So from here, 140 minus 50 is what, 90, right? That is the female's memorial day. Choice C is the answer. The next one, which of the following categories accounts for approximately 21% of a survey responded? Total number of here, 352 times 21%, right? 21% times 0.21. How about this one? Use your calculator, okay? 
352 times and 0 0.21. You got the 73 point now around the 74, okay? Yeah, 74. Which one has why 74 people is there? This is not 74. This is 103, a lot. This one is 109 minus 35. That is 74, right? Yeah, so female's favorite holiday is Labor Day, okay? Female choosing Labor Day is the answer. Choice D is the answer. The number 15 over here. C equals negative 1.5k plus 300. That is a linear equation. This is y-intercept. This is a slope. And now check it out. Uh, there is a positive correlation. No, slope is negative. There is a negative correlation, okay? That's wrong. When the company produces 20 toys, if 20 toys, this is 20, total cost is 270, check it out. C equals what? Negative 1.5 times 20. That is 30 and plus 300. That is equals to 270. That's is true, okay? As K increases by 10, C decreases 15. That is a slope, right? Delta K, okay? Delta C over delta K, that is equals what? Negative 1.5, right? The slope. K increased by 10. This is increased by 10. C is what? Increase times in both sides, delta C is what? Negative 15. Isn't it? That, that's true, right? Decreases 15. So 2 and 3, true, okay? Choice D to answer. All right, now we have uh, <clears throat> identical equations. For all value of x and kp are constant, they are always true for all value of x. That means what? Left hand side, right hand side, that is exactly the same expression, right? If you take this is a y1, this is a y2. For all bodies, they are coincident, okay? Exactly the same expression. So now check out this one. x times x, x squared. px times 2x, so p plus 2 times x, and constant 2p. That must be equals to over here, x squared plus kx and the k plus 1. Must be the same expressions. This already equals. This coefficient should be equal. P plus 2 equals K. And constant should be equals. 2P equals K plus 1. So we're going to find the value of K. We just eliminate the P, right? From here, P equals K minus 2. Put this number into the 2. Okay? So times 2 is what? 2K minus 4. That is equals to K plus 1. Okay, so this is a negative k, that is a k. Move to the right, positive 4. k equals to 5 is the answer, okay? This is number 16. 1 over 2, 1 third times f of a square root k. Instead of x, we use the k, okay? Times 3, this is okay. So put this number over here. 2. Square root k squared is about 2k and minus 3. That is equals to what? Times 3 times that squared equals to 9, okay? So 2k equals 12 and k equals 6, okay? That, that is a... This is number 18. So what is the measure in radian angle A over this angle? Maybe you can use this triangle or the other triangle, it doesn't matter, okay? This triangle, or this triangle. You can use this triangle, these two lengths are equals. This is a 45 degree, that is a pi over 4, isn't it? Or you can use a 45 degree. This one is, this is 6 red 3, this is just 6. Okay, so this is what, divided by 6 is 1 red 3, okay? So this length times red 3 is this length. This is about 60 degree, okay? Why this one? 30 degree, okay? Okay, now let's find. 30 degree is a pi over 6. You can use, right, radian degree, doesn't matter, okay? I'm going to use radian over here. Whole thing is a pi radian minus pi over 4 here and uh, pi over 6 over here, okay? Subtract these numbers. Or this one is what? 60 degree pi, this angle, same thing, okay? This is a pi over 3, 
This is a pliable pole. You can add this too. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm going to add this too. Pliable pole plus pliable 3. 12 over 1. 3 pi, 4 pi is 7 pi, okay? That's the angle of this radian, okay? This is the same thing. 7 pi over 12. Because this is what? 12 over 5 over pi, okay? Okay, one more right in this video. Number 19. We have a regular hexagon. All sides are congruent. Side is a 5. This side is a 5. This side is a 5. What is the value of A? A is over here. X coordinate. The length of this one is A. Up to here, Paul, another 5. That is nice. Still, we need this length. Okay? You know that exterior angle. Some of the exterior angles are all, all, always what? 360. We have right, six exterior angles over here. When you divide by six, 60 is one of these exterior angles, 60. This is a right triangle of 60, 30, right? So right after right 60 degree, this length is what? half of this number, 2.5, okay? So 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 2.5 is 11.5. This x coordinate is 11.5, okay? Choice C is the answer. Okay, we just finished, right? Uh, finished uh, half of that uh, number, right? Section 4, okay? So in next video, you're going to finish uh, the other half of that, okay? Thank you. I'll see you in next video.